My name's Donald Perry. I'm part of the staff here at Aberdeen Sports Village and I work for the university but based in the Sports Village. As part of my role, I help develop the table tennis sessions here in the Table Tennis Academy and effectively I've become the Table Tennis Academy manager. We're here at the Sports Village uh, for our usual Table Tennis Academy session on a Friday evening. The Table Tennis Academy has been running for about five years now and we'll go from really young uh, players from about six or seven years old right up to 18 and, and some of the boys are a little bit older than 18 now so we managed to bring players through in all the age groups. Uh, for the session tonight we'll have the national coach who's Lee Chow and he's going to be here for this evening and for tomorrow for a session tomorrow as well. Lee Chow's here as part of the Table Tennis Scotland training days and we were lucky enough to get two training days from him this year. So today and tomorrow. What's happening tonight is Lee Chow will be coaching the intermediate players, so the guys that are just below the level of our academy players. Then for his second session this evening, he'll be doing our youth academy players. So they are from ages about eight uh, through till about 11 and 12 years old. And that's the guys that you can see me playing behind me at the moment. Uh, and later on this evening, Lee Chow will be doing a session with our league players. So that's guys who play in the Aberdeen and District Table Tennis Association League. There's three divisions there at the moment. And Lee Chow is going to have a session with players from all of the divisions and everybody will get the opportunity to benefit from the experience that Lee Chow brings. Uh, the session that we're doing tomorrow, that's specifically for our older academy players. We've got about 14 or 15 in that group and we've got girls that are under 14, under 16 and we'll have boys from under 13, under 15 and under 18. They all play locally in the leagues here as well and we uh, take them around the country to tournaments and some of the top players will travel to England and even abroad to play in some of the tournaments there and they'll get an excellent experience tomorrow from Lee Chow and benefit from some of the coaching practices that he's done all, the, all over the world. Uh, Lee Chow also coaches the men's national team and the women's national team and there's two of our players who he's been coaching in a group that's just below the national team. So hopefully in a, a year or two those players will break through into the full uh, national team as players under Lee, Chow, Lee Chow's tutorage uh, for, for weekly sessions with him. I'm the uh, development officer for Aberdeen and District Table Tennis Association. Uh, my name is Dick Farrow and I've been only coaching for an, a few years now but uh, I took it up as a second career after I retired and I've been really happy to uh, help develop table tennis uh, in schools particularly. We do a lot of work uh, in liaison with the active schools coordinators in all the areas around Aberdeen and uh, Aberdeenshire. Uh, and we do lots of work, uh, we probably have uh, sessions for about two and a half thousand primary school kids uh, every year. So uh, that's introducing them to table tennis uh, and then they can come along and get some uh, better uh, high level coaching as they improve. We do after school clubs as well in a number of schools. Um, and in Aber Aberdeenshire there's uh, a lot going on, we've just opened a new session at uh, Inverurie and also there's a new club at Stonehaven, so it's spreading throughout the district. Hi, I'm Lee Chow, international coach of Table, ten table, table Tennis Scotland and I have been working for Wales, England and Chinese Taipei and the UAE national teams so now working for uh, Scotland national teams and uh, today we have a regional tr training in Aberdeen so um, I came here before two years ago um, we can see with, with a good table tennis in here and also when I come up this weekend and we can see some good players and some potential players in this academy group 
and uh, the player really keen and also the all coaches working hard with the players so I'm really happy to work work with them and we can see it's good for our future for the table tennis in Scotland uh, at the moment so actually I'm really busy so because our uh, men's team just focus for the 2018 Commonwealth Games in Australia in next year, March. And uh, our men's team now is number five ranking in commerce country. And uh, so we will have good chance to qualify for the Commonwealth Games. So we hope this table tennis can get stronger in all Scotland, all areas. And also we, have, we, we hope uh, Sports Scotland and every way can more support us, uh, more support our um, men's team and the uh, table tennis in Scotland. Hi, I'm Colin Douglas. Uh, I've been in Aberdeen for the last uh, four years. I study in accounting and finance uh, at Robert Gardner's University. I'm a part of the Scottish national men's team. Uh, we're trying to, we're working hard and preparing for the Commonwealth Games of 2018 in Australia, and uh, hopefully we get some funding from Sports Scotland and uh, just keep working hard and trying to qualify and uh, get as get as close to a medal as possible uh, when we're in Australia. Uh, on a week-to-week -week basis, I'm training four four times a week as well, so two gym sessions and uh, some cardio as well. On top of that, I'm trying to uh, balance out on my uh, studies as well. Uh, all the other guys are working hard down in Edinburgh where the, the men's team train uh, and they're all putting in a big shift to try and, try and qualify for uh, the Commonwealth Games. I'm currently playing for North Ayrshire in the British Premier League. Uh, it was one of the, my goals to get into, get into that and uh, play in that. So that's really good. We're currently sitting fifth and that's home and away matches. So that's 12 weekends in the year. Also the Nationals are coming up at uh, the start of uh, March and that will be hotly contested between all the Scottish players uh, trying to win. Uh, hopefully try my best at that and just keep working hard. Uh, goals for the short term, just uh, keeping the, the men's team, trying to improve my ranking, my world ranking, uh, win as many competitions and matches as I can and uh, hopefully the end goal is qualify for the Commonwealth. So to become a good table tennis player, you've got a uh, lot of hard work, a lot of determination, perseverance. It's not an easy sport, but you've got to stick at it and put in the, the hours that nobody else put in. I always like to think that whenever I'm not practicing, somebody else out there is practicing and getting better than me. So that always keeps me going to try and get better. And every time when I'm not practicing, but when I am practicing, I'm putting the hours in on the table and the hard work. And it isn't pretty, but in the long run, it, it's good. Jonathan. Hi. Now you've been playing table tennis for how long? Three and a half years. Three and a half years. And which school do you go to? Kingston Primary. Kingston Primary. And do you enjoy your table tennis? Yes. <laughs> and how many times do you come to uh, the academy here? Four times. Four times a week? Yeah. Okay. And you've now got to the stage after three years you're playing in national tournaments. You yes. go to uh, which tournaments have you been to? Bathgate. Okay, and this, that's the, the Scottish primary schools yeah. you were going to, yeah? And under 11s. Under 11s, and you've, have you won any of those? All of them. You've won all of them yeah. that you entered. Really good, excellent. So, what do you hope to do in your table tennis? Get better. Get better, yeah. My forehands. Right, okay. And how about all the coaching? Is that hard work? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's worth it. Yeah. <laughs> really good, excellent. Yeah. In your, your school, does anyone else play table tennis at your school? Uh, yes, yeah. like Max, the people who came oh, here. Okay, yeah. Yes, okay. I'm, I'm my brother. And how do they think you played? Very well. Like this, it's too high for me. So you need to keep your body straight and your face to that side. Close your hand. One, two, three, four, number two. Go.
So we're here in the Aberdeen Sports Village as part of our uh, table tennis sessions. We've got a table tennis academy that's been running for about five years now. The academy started probably with only three or four players and then open sessions for all children to come along and give table tennis a go. Since that time we've built things up, we have a full-time coach, we've got two other paid coaches and we've got quite a number of independent, voluntary coaches who come along and help us out with the, the Table Tennis Academy. As part of the Academy we do boys and girls really from five and six years old right through to uh, 18 year olds and there's a couple of our guys now older than 18. Uh, over the five year period we've gone from one or two tournaments playing locally and now we take players to five, six tournaments nationally so all around Scotland, Glasgow, Perth, Stirling, Edinburgh and play tournaments here in Aberdeen as well. We've got several players that have represented Scotland over the years. Our first representation probably started in the, the Scottish Primary Schools team and since that first representation four years ago we've had players in the Primary Schools team every year from that point up until now. Last year in the Senior Schools uh, Scottish teams we had nine players in total that represented across under 12, under 14, under 16 and under 18. So we, we've expanded those players every single year and managed to get nine in the Scottish team last year. Beyond that we've had players picked for the under 15 and the under 18 squads and we've had two players that have gone abroad for the last two years to play in Germany for the Scottish uh, under 15 team. We've also had one player who was selected for the Scottish Youth Championships and he's played in the under 15 tournament for the past two years. There's still lots and lots of table tennis happen here. We'll have sessions every day except a Wednesday, so there's lots of opportunity for our squads to come and train. Our, our junior squad, our squad from about 5 to 12 year olds, they train three times a week at the moment and join up on one session with our older academy. Our older academy players, they have five sessions that they can come to during the week and hopefully they're reaching about 12 to 15 hours of training a week on table time and we'll try and supplement that with, with other sessions where we'll give them fitness uh, sessions, coaching in the, uh, the gym so that we develop their strength and power and speed in the gym sessions as well. So there's lots of an offer for the, all the players. We've had a great day here at the uh, Sports Village. Uh, first of all, we started off with uh, some evergreens, the over 55s, and they had a fantastic time watching Lee Chow, the national coach, and uh, Colin Dalgleish doing a, a demonstration coaching session, which was fantastically quick. And they were all very impressed. And uh, then Lee Chow had them doing all sorts of exercises uh, to uh, improve their uh, their uh, skill at uh, moving. That was the most important thing he was trying to teach them, uh, that they needed to move their feet. And uh, a lot of them were really pleased about seeing such an expert at work. Uh, then we had uh, a, a session in a school in Harlow Academy, uh, where we went and had a, another demonstration with uh, Colin and uh, Lee Chow. And then uh, the, the kids there were also impressed and they had f fun games uh, playing around the table. But this really illustrates our plan for Aberdeen is to improve tennis, table tennis for all ages. Not only uh, youngsters like you see here tonight, but also we're aiming to have even 80 year olds are playing regularly in uh, Aberdeen at quite a number of venues. We have eight, eight different sites uh, where pensioners play uh, at a good standard too. Some of them are now joining the, the league. Most of them haven't played for about 40, 40 years, but they have now got back into it and uh, really having fun playing in the leagues and also recreationally here at the Sports Village and other uh, sites throughout Aberdeen.